guys welcome back to my channel it's carol here and i have a slight confession i have already done this video <laughs> i just forgot to turn the camera on so <laughs> we're gonna have another go and um i'm just gonna basically repeat myself i was just chatting away to the camera for like half an hour um so what i've done is i with, i saw a video by Teresa morgan a few weeks ago and she made her own um, stamping plates. And I've done the same. Now, she's she did this really wonderful one. And I have already played with these. I'll show you the prints in a minute. She's put stuff onto cardboard. So your basic packaging and bits. This is fabric, some thick cotton fabric that I've just scrunched up onto a piece of card this is going to be a cheap way to add some texture onto your gel plates just squares of card again onto your back i've made i've made little handles on some of them i've forgotten one but yeah so you stamp that down i made one with buttons so you've got to make sure most of your buttons are like the same height <laughs> that's the only thing and I've still got glue on there. Um, she did. She did this one, which is um, silver foil wrapped around. I'll link her video, obviously. You know, she she actually shows you how to do these, but I did them. I thought you could probably manage that bit because it depends what you've got. I mean, I had some of these drink plastic drinking straws, so I've made I made that one, and then I thought, oh, I'm going to do a random one. So I made one with all like random bits on, and I just left one plain so that you can just get like some sort of grungy effect, hopefully. And then I had a little go with this one, which is just string. Um, took a long time for that to dry. I mod podge that string on. But yeah, all really free. They were free to make. And anything that's free in crafting, in my book, is awesome. And if you can use some packaging and stuff you've got lying around the house, even better. So to go along with that theme today, we are going to use junk mail envelopes, tags and packaging to do our printing on. I've also got a bit of baking sheet, baking powder, baking powder, I always say that, baking paper. And I'm gonna use that as well. So enough faffing and chatting, let's get on with it. So um, I'm just gonna start blobbing some colors down. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, I, it's a really cool video. You need to go watch it. It's awesome. And she just just uses all sorts. I think she used like polystyrene and all sorts, but I haven't got any of that. You know, we all can use, you know, your bubble wrap and things like that, which is fine. But I just thought, Do you know what? That is such a cool idea. I'm going to I'm going to copy it because <laughs> we do, don't we? But yeah, she did she did come up with the idea. I'm just copying her. But I thought I'd just show you my my sort of play with it. Um that's my little I don't know why I did that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little play now. My favourite one because I've tested this already is the fabric. Have a look at this, guys. I'm I am over the moon with how this turns out. You can I don't know if you can tell. You will when I do the when I do the pull. You'll see. But yeah, anything that's free, I'm like I'm all over it. Okay. Um, I won't use that one just yet because I want to sort the envelope out. So, um, should we just do half? No, let's just screw it all. Let's just do it all. So this is just the first layer. 
and I've got some tags, some shopping tags, which we're gonna gonna do. I've got I don't know some junk mail. <laughs> um, in what are these paint chip cards? And some weird coloured envelopes. I don't know. So I'm just gonna try and pull up because it's a they're a weird colour. I'm never gonna use them. So I'm just gonna get these up. But wait till you see this. This is so awesome. Look at that. It's super cool. <laughs> super cool. Loving it. I love, love jelly printing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, it's just so much fun. So we're going to add another layer. Oops, I don't want that bit, do I? Don't want that bit. Oops. Um, which one did I use? I can't remember. Let's go with some yellow. I'll get it everywhere. And I'm going to put fluorescent orange. Orange? Yeah. Just because we can do anything. Oh, ignore this. <laughs> I cleaned my brayer over the sink. Little tip. Don't do that. Because you lose the screw down the plug hole. And I had to go to my shed and put a new screw in. Of course, it doesn't fit. But <laughs> I was like, oh, you silly woman. Why would you do that? So, yeah, there's a little tip. Don't do it. <laughs> put the plug in if you're going to do it over the sink. <laughs> oh, I was like, why did you do that? You know, and it was just too late. I've done it. So, yeah, not not fun. Okay, right. The other one that's really cool is this straws. The straws are amazing. So you need to do this one. Look at the pattern you get. It's like awesome. And the buttons are really cool as well. And you don't get your hands dirty if you do that. So, look at that. Just add in texture. So simple. Right, we are going to use one of these funny coloured envelopes because they're weird. I don't even know what colour that is. It's like a orangey, beigey colour. And we're going to... I'm going to try and get some of the paint on this and not on the window. Let's see how long that lasts. I've got some tags. Um, I could do something bigger there, couldn't I? Like, like this packaging. This is this is like jelly printing for free. Obviously, if you've got your paints and your jelly plate. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's a better colour. So the pattern on that, it's really cool. I've got lots going on there now. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a stencil down. I've got my hand, my own homemade stencil around here somewhere. And I've also got the one that Rhonda sent me in Happy Mail, which has got four different types which I will use in a moment, but I wanna, I'm going to use this one first. I'm just going to put that down and put um, pink. Let's go pink. It's a funny pink. Let's hope I'm recording this time. <laughs> Couldn't believe it when I got to the end and there was like no video. I was like, really? <laughs> Have you just done all that? all that video and all you know when you feel like then you've been talking to yourself for like half an hour 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, you've just been chatting away to yourself. Nobody's listening. <laughs> I can get away with it when I think you lot are listening. Right, now I'm going to just do a little bit of a stamp on this one and pull on this one as well. And we are going to do these. These. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm pulling this up. I forgot what I was doing. Right, so we've got those lovely stencils on there. And I think we'll put them on top of that and see what happens. And we'll do some of that. Put that one that way up, get some of that. Another one. It's quite useful having two jelly plates. Look at that. This is just like it's off decorative tape. I need to put something there. There we go. So let's have a look, see what happens. How cool is that? So much texture you can grab on these. And where's that other one? No, it's still wet. Can't do that, it's still wet. Let's pull this off. I mean, that's a great base for a tag. Sort of ready to go and I'm going to just dip that in there to finish that off I love that that's so cool just got to do the top Ooh, come on up pretty I like it so that's picking up the pink so what I need to do now is just get the rest of that up this is just junk mail. It's not £75. Right, I think we need to clean the plates. And then we'll... I could do a bit more. Let's do a bit more before I clean them. Um, some yellow. Let's use some of this stent. Where's my... Um, I've got some homemade some stents. I've got some of this um, I got from my scrap store and I also have somewhere underneath all this lot I had there it is some more sort of packaging -y stuff not quite sure what it is but it's quite thick and it's plastic and I use it a lot with my jelly printing what happens when we that's sort of cool isn't it let's just get all of it on so i can <laughs> getting covered in paint guys paint paint <laughs> i like having the two i can flit around between just see it it's quite subtle Yeah, <laughs> that's wet. <laughs> okay. I like the grungy bit, but I don't know how to get the grungy bit up now. And I'm thinking if I put an, a colour over the top, really thin, I should get that grunginess up. I believe. I believe that is what you do. Anybody who's really good at this melody, let me know. <laughs> or I'll just find out for myself. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Right, let's just do a little bit of texture on there. So I'm going to do the straws. I mean, 
You don't need to keep them going in the same line. You can turn them around. Right, so if I pull that whole thing up, say with my baking sheet, this is just paper you use for like putting in the oven. I don't think that will pick that up because I need to put some paint on it. Yeah. So what do we get? Ooh. It's sort of cool. I quite like that. I'm wondering what it will look like if I do black. <laughs> I'm just playing. This could go horribly wrong. I've got to try masks one day as well. I think I've got something down there. But I know that you have to put a really thin layer on. Right, um, let's just, oh, which one shall I have? Decisions. So I'm going to try this one, which is just the squares of cardboard. Now I think that the bottom, the top layer then becomes the bottom layer. I believe that's right. I'm going to do it onto some music paper just to see what happens. I have loads of this stuff. Let's have a look. I want to try magazine printing as well. Because, you know, I've got a few magazines now. Right. <laughs> this is probably just going to be a black page. Uh... It's stuck. Come on. Whoa. Oh, no, I like it. That is definitely a grungy page. Bit of grey on that as well. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Put some grey on that one. And I'm going to get... Where's the stencil one? I don't really want to get Rhonda stencil covered in paint. I already have, but, you know, it's a bit different when she's watching. <laughs> get it covered in paint. Oh, should I should just do it. Right. I quite like this pattern. I like this because you can turn it to whichever one you want. I want that one. Um, I need a base colour first, don't I? What am I doing? Uh, right. Let's put down a bit of purple, maybe. We haven't had any purple. And a bit of this. Just a bit. I don't want too much. I don't want too much. I might probably want more than that. <laughs> A white on it. I quite like mine light. Wow, that purple's very vivid. Right, so let's do a texture layer and then we'll do that's probably going to be dry by now. So let's grab something like my lines. That's quite subtle, isn't it? Um, straws. Oh, okay. Go there. It's so cool. I love those. They are like so awesome. And then we're going to put the stencil over the top. I should wait for that to dry. <sighs> dry. <laughs> if, if I wait too long, this will be dry. So we're going to go for it. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to do some. Oh, this is just so much fun. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you know me. I'm getting carried away. These are just last and last. And when they finally give up the ghost, you just make another one. It's like, you know. Okay, right, we're going we're gonna to pull this one up. We're going to see what happens. Da -da. And this one. I've got to do this one. Do the back of the envelope. And in this, this envelope, I think, came from Jovi. I'm not sure. Ooh, grungy. I'll get some more of that. So cool, isn't it? I like it. It's very subtle, but it's great for backgrounds. I mean, I'm going to put some more layers on there just yet. Not right now. I'm going to go fluorescent pink. Da da. <laughs> She's gone mad. Um, and some orange. Because cause I like the orange. It's such a cool colour, this. Wow. Wow. Look at that. There's no rules. You know what I'm like? I love no rules. No rules jelly plating, no rules collaging, <laughs> just no rules junk journaling, just no rules really. Right, so I'm just going to wipe that off on there and then I've got, I've got another print on that one. <laughs> Awesome. That looks like it's going to be so yummy. Where are we going to put it? In the back of an envelope. I think we'll go for it. Maybe. Da, da, da. Ooh, that's a bit wet still. I do have to get this off. I think it's some paper. I might have to wipe my plate. Oh no, I think I've got most of it. Um, I'm going to do that end bit in a minute. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is just dab this on like this in places randomly. I'm sorry if I'm getting it in the camera. <laughs> But I think that would look quite cool. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. I know. I know. I get carried away. Sorry. It's just... It's just... Just... Fun. Right, we've got... We've still got loads of gunginess on here now. Let's get that off. I'll use white. I think I think if I cover this all in white, I should be able to get off all the layers that have built up. Let me know. Let's see what happens. I've just got to clean this one as well in a minute. Right. So let's get this one. Oh, look at that. That is so good. I don't even want to put another layer on that one. I have got the edges. And I'm going to do that with this again. So I'm just going to randomly pull up bits. Oh, 
I may have to get the baby wipe out. <laughs> it's not working any much, but it's coming on. It's definitely getting there. I feel like I should just carry on. I'm going to put yellow now. <laughs> I'm just going to carry on because I can wipe it at the end. And I want to do some more, some more of my stamping. And if we get some of that purple around the edge, then that would be quite cool as well. Right, I'm going to do some buttons. Oh, you get all the shape of the buttons. I'm just going to randomly do them. Just a couple. And then I'm going to do... What am I going to do? Um, I can't find anything now. I've got a whole pile. I'm going to do this one. I don't think I've done this one. And that is also going to be random. And it, it's not... As de it's not as detailed, it's a lot better than, not better, but different to the material. It's just a different effect. I'm going to let that dry. We're going to play with this one. I'm going to get up some of that and we're going to just do a bit of a play on that one. I don't think that will work. Our paint chip cards aren't half as good as your ones. <laughs> They're like terrible. I think a big old oh cool though. Bit of a bit of a start on there. Just see if I can get some on that edge. What do you think? It's got a bit of a pattern going already. Um, no, not too much because this is very, very vivid, this purple. Or maybe not enough. I think I've got another mail. I've got another envelope that I can use. I use this is very battered. This one. I'm rubbish at opening my envelopes. I always just rip them open. And you'd think I'd learnt by now. I want to use them. Oh, love that. And we're gonna go. Where's, it? Where's the window? There. Hopefully I haven't gone over the window. How oh, cool! Probably get some yellow on it now. Yep. Okay, we'll do some of that in a minute. I think that's, that's still soaking wet. Soaking wet. Um, let's just carry on on this one. Let's put some it's blue, green, not blue, it's not green, it's not blue at all. Don't have any yellows. Um, yeah, so just use what you've got, guys. But make, you know, make those. They were brilliant for just, you know learning to see whether you actually you know like the jelly printing printing right to the side of that tag get this tag finished i'm just going to press it down with that <laughs> it's 
c'est pas KO. Oh, I think I'm getting the edges now, which is cool. You know, cut these up, perfect little tags straight away. Except I've done both sides now, which probably uh, I didn't need to. But. And a little bit, maybe. So that's that envelope is all covered up in ready to just play. Right, now I am going to use that again. I love this colour. Oh, this is the shimmery one. So this is cool. And let's have a bit of pink. Not too much. It's very strange, this pink. I may have told you that before. It doesn't, it doesn't work very well. I'm getting tired. I've done this already. <laughs> I can't believe I'm having to repeat the whole the whole video. That's just like, uh, you know, when you you you'll have been there, won't you? I know you will. Right, where's my um, where's my stencil? Which one should we do? That one's that one's super cool. Quite like that. Right, so. I think I use this in my mermaid journal to make like um, their like scales on some tags. Oh, I've got a gap. <laughs> Fill the gap in. Easy. There we go. So that's that's I would say pretty finished because you can always just put a random bit of something on there and that one's done. Look at the shimmer on it, it's really cool. Okay, you're done. Excellent. We're getting there. I've got this one to do. Oh and I've done that side, just that little bit there. I don't think there's anything left for me to pull up on there. No, we just finish that off in a moment. Um, this one is still wet, but we're going to go for it now because I can't wait any longer. I'm like, I'm impatient. Uh, let's do this one. Let's get that really wet bit up in the middle. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm loving this. Right, now I've got to get the corners because I don't want to go over the window. Well, didn't go over the window. It must be dry. It's dry on places and not dry in others. Right. Which is fine because now we can go over it. Let's just make sure. Because that bit still looks really wet to me. I still love it. Okay. Right. So we're going to put the stencil over the top. And then put on... Blue. But I want it, I don't want it that dark, so I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of white. Oh, just a bit. And then it's gonna be sort of multi multi coat multi toned. Oh, 
and this is i've got a video on how i made this stencil it's it was just a piece of acetate from packaging and i um i just cut holes in it <laughs> basically it it wasn't difficult it wasn't like anything spectacular guys so you know you didn't miss much but if you want to um me to link the video let me know Ooh, liking that nice i like those um i'm not going to do the other side i'm only going to do that side and they're done okay e right i'm not going to use this and do what i did before oh no i think i'm just going to go for it da 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 It's like, just go for it. Oh, no, it's dried. <gasps> that means we can put the white on. And then we need another piece of paper. Come on, come out. Oh, I don't know whether that's enough. With that. that should be enough. I know that when you do this, you don't put too much on. It's got to be a really thin layer. And then you lift all of the colours together. Maybe a bit more, I think. I think. Could be wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> and I think what we'll do is we'll put this onto a new piece because I think it's going to be really cool. I hope so, anyway. We will see. Right, I've got, an, I've got one more piece of music paper left. And I'm just going to pop that right on and press it right down. And while we're at it, I think we'll we'll pull this one up. I'm going to use I'm going to use grey on that one. I'm going to let that dry off, dry on there, and then I'm going to pull it up. Right, hopefully that has covered everything. Have I got, no? I'm sure I've got an envelope I need to do somewhere. Yeah, got the back of that one. Um, I really want to cover the whole thing, don't I? I'm going to go with that. Right, um, I'm doing that and I haven't put any sort of mark on there. Right, I'm going to go for it now. It's not even straight, guys. It's not even straight. Right, let's pull this one up. Oh, this is looking yummy. <laughs> Look how grungy it is. Oh, I love the grungy. <gasps> Look at that. That's awesome. And you can still see, like, the music paper underneath. Look at this on the edges where the paint's dry. So cool. Oh, and this one. Okay, right. <laughs> I think that's me. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Can't get that last bit. I'll have to sort that on out. Um, so there we go. Um, we've we've got all our um bits of. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're, they're going to look great in collage. I can cut them up and put them as backing on tags. You know, these are going to be envelopes. Always going to be handy for in your journals. And, of course, this is on really thin paper. So this is great for collaging. Oop, stencil. This one's not even finished. But I may finish it. Is that it? Oh, I've got one more got my tag my um packaging which is you know done okay so don't forget guys go and check out Teresa's channel I'll link it underneath and you'll see what what she did I mean it it honestly it's so easy you guys can do it and it's free 
just use whatever you've got that you can stick down onto some cardboard and you know it doesn't matter what the material is use something that you haven't you know that you haven't used that you're not going to use and you know go for it these are so much fun i mean it was fun just making these and then you get to play with them as well so <laughs> it's win-win so there you go i don't want to put these down on the gel plates i'm going to clean these up and um i will see you all again very soon so if you like what i do and you like a bit of everything because you know i do my junk journals i do my collaging do a bit of this we do a bit of upcycling we do a lot of different things on this channel so if you like that then please consider subscribing i would love for you to join us we've got a lovely little happy family here it's super friendly everybody's lovely and um i'd love you to join our little family it'll be awesome so just hit the subscribe button you know the drill and i will hopefully see you and do say hello as well you know because sometimes people say you know i see names and i think oh you know i haven't seen your name before and i do answer everybody unless you're sort of on a really really old video and then sometimes i don't see it look at that you keep um but yeah you know do say hello if you subscribe because it's i, I do like to sort of say you know welcome and you know all that and thank you because you know without you guys wouldn't be much point me it would be like me doing this whole video <laughs> i'm talking to myself Oh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> but, you know, I did it again. And this time it's recorded, which is which is a bonus. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, jelly plating. It was super fun. And I am going to definitely be using those again. Right. I'm going to finish cleaning these. I will see you all again very soon. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.